Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have uh, this compound shape, as you can see in this figure, such that this angle outside this circle is 40 degrees, and this angle inside this circle is 95 degrees, and now we are going to find the value of this angle x. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. Let me go over this basic quick review. Now let's focus on this concave quadrilateral. As we can see, its interior angles are alpha, beta, and gamma. And now we are going to find the value of this angle x in terms of alpha, beta, and gamma. And now let's focus on this shaded triangle. And now let's recall exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. And here in our case, this x is our exterior angle. And this is equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles, alpha and beta. So therefore, for this shaded triangle, this angle is going to be our exterior angle. And that is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles. So this angle is going to be alpha plus beta. And now let's focus on this another shaded triangle. We can see that this angle is going to be our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore this angle is going to be equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma. So therefore, this angle X is equal to the sum of these three interior angles, alpha plus beta plus gamma. And now let's focus on another shape as you can see right now. And we can see for this angle, our this one is our intercepted arc. And likewise, for this angle, we have the same intercepted arc. And now let's recall this fact, two inscribed angles that intercept the same arc are congruent. That means these two angles, this angle and this angle, they are congruent. Therefore, if I call this angle alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And likewise, let's focus on this intercepted arc. And this is related to these two angles. Then according to this, our given fact, these angles are going to be equal. If this angle is beta, then this angle is going to be beta as well. So thus we conclude that these angle alpha are congruent and these angle beta are congruent as well. And now let's revert our focus back on our original problem and look at this shaded part. And we can see that these two inscribed angles, this one and this one, they are congruent according to this fact. If I call this angle alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And now in this next step, let's focus on this shaded part. Then we can see that this angle is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, three interior angles according to this fact. So therefore we can write alpha plus alpha plus 40 degrees equal to 95 degrees. Now let's go ahead and solve for alpha. So on the left hand side, this become two alpha plus 40 degrees equal to 95 degrees. And here we're going to subtract 40 degrees from both sides. So two alpha turns out to be 55 degrees. Our alpha is going to be 27.5 degrees. So thus our angle alpha turns out to be 27.5 degrees. And now let's focus on this shaded triangle. And we can see that this angle is our exterior angle. And that is equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angle alpha and x. Therefore, we can write as x plus alpha 
equals to 95 degrees and we know our alpha value is 27.5 degrees so I can write x plus 27.5 degrees equal to 95 degrees now let's subtract 27.5 degrees from both sides this cancels out so our x value turns out to be 67.5 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be a 67.5 degrees thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye